So what is up, fellas? Ladies, here I am back again. And today I brought with me a special guest, my cousin, Nigel, from the east end of London, England. How we doing, Nigel? Right, so I come all the way down from London, right? And I hang out with this torso, and I ask him, what we vaping, Clue? And you know what he tells me? He tells me Skittles. Fucking Skittles. You don't vape Skittles, you eat them. Dude, what the f***? So, uh, wow, that uh, escalated quickly. I, I don't know what his problem was, nor why he was so adverse to Skittles. Maybe they don't, they don't like Skittles in jolly old England. Somebody let me know. You live in England, Great Britain, London, East End? Let me know how you feel about Skittles flavored e-liquid. Because I don't know. I couldn't even keep him around to ask him because he was, he, was, he was just out of control. So anyway, so I'm a little excited today. Why am I excited? Because today we are gonna talk about the long awaited Triton 2, the Triton V2, the version two of the Triton. Um, if anybody was around and gave a crap about my video on the original Triton, uh, I believe I titled it Why I Love Hate the Aspire Triton. Um, and it's because I loved it and hated it at the same time. Why did I love it? Because it was awesome. It was an awesome tank that you could either sub -ohm on or mouth to lung hit, which I really like. I loved it because it had top fill and I loved it because it was just a well-made tank. It was an Aspire tank. I, I like Aspire tanks. They seem to be well-made. They function really well. The coils are really good, but I also hated it. Mostly I hated it because you could not take it apart and clean it. And the drip tip was funky. It was really long and it had two pieces where one piece had the adjustable airflow and all that garbage. So uh, basically I had it and I didn't use it very much because I just went back to my Nautilus for my above ohm mouth to lung hits. And I believe I made the prediction, the bold prediction, that they might make a Triton version two and fix those problems. Cause that seems to be what, uh, Aspire does. They did it with the Atlantis. Atlantis had a lot of problems. They came out with the Atlantis V2 that fixed a lot of those problems. So I'm excited. So since I've already reviewed the Triton, and this is basically the same tank with some differences, um, we're going to quickly go through it and I'm going to tell you if they made it any better or not. So here we go. All right, to start off with, you will see it has the your typical Aspire packaging. This plastic hard case. Aspira. Aspira. Open it up, there's your Triton, there's your tank. After we put that aside, pull out this insert. You have on the bottom side your spare Pyrex and your 0.5 coil for your sub ohm vaping. You have a warranty card and you have your warning card. All right, and here's the star of the show. Here is the Triton V2. Very, very nice looking. See the Aspire branding has these little notches bevels i don't know what you'd call them to help you twist and turn stuff or whatever and real quick here's your 510 connection as you can see the titan branding i guess this is copper plated hell i don't know move around top here's your wide bore drip tip around here it has some heat sink action and it is top filled it's still a top fill tank and to do that all you do is grab a hold of this bottom part of the drip tip unscrew it see down here it's closed off and your juice flow holes are open. As you can see, like the Triton, all you do is flip it from the little face over to the drop, which means you're ready to fill. Closes off your juice flow holes and it opens up these two slots here. Pretty simple. And again, just like the Triton V1, it does have Pyrex glass. It doesn't have the crazy cage, which I neither like nor dislike. It was cool. Uh, didn't need it, but it was cool. This, I'm fine with the way this is. And here's one of the changes they made. If you unscrew this tank from the bottom, as you can see, you can pull the entire thing apart. Take off the Pyrex, give it a good cleaning. Really good cleaning, which is very, very important to me. And if you wanna go ahead, close off the juice flow, like you're filling it, 
and just take off this very bottom part. Out comes your coil and with no leakage. So you could take out the coil without taking the entire bottom off and emptying out any juice or anything like that. Or you could take the entire bottom off and clean the sum bitch. Now for a little side-by-side -side comparison. This is the original Triton with some juice in there that's probably been in there since the first month I had it. And the V2. As you can see, the original Triton is a little bit bigger. With the drip tip, it's way bigger. It does have this cage where the Triton V2 does not. And that's pretty much it. And so there you have it. The Triton V2. Much like the original Aspire Triton. Now here comes the big question. Did they fix the problems that I had personally with the original Triton? The answer is yes. Yes, they definitely did. This tank looks a lot better to me. And the biggest beef I had with the original Triton was that you cannot take it apart and clean it. This one, you could take it completely apart. Not only that, you could take just part of it apart and pull the coil out without having juice get everywhere. So why didn't they just do that in the first place? I don't know. You know, I try not to be too hard on vape manufacturers. Um, I know this is still a relatively new technology. And when you put out a new tank and you're trying to innovate, a lot of times you have some misses. Uh, their whole story on why they didn't allow you to take the entire thing apart was that they wanted to minimize leakage. Well, they've done it. I mean, I could take this apart and it doesn't leak at all, so I don't know. I'm just a little bummed that I had to spend my hard-earned money buying another tank when the first one should have fulfilled my needs. But enough of the complaining, I do love this tank and I'll tell you why. I'm a guy who sub ohms a lot. I'm also a guy, if you haven't heard before, that still loves the mouth to lung hit. When I go to work, I like a smaller mod, I like a mouth to lung hit. So I like to use a like a 1.8, 1.6 coil, which this has. As a matter of fact, the coil that was in the packaging was brand new because I haven't sub ohmed on this yet, because I have 50,000 sub ohm tanks. Thing was, this is better than my Nautilus. The Nautilus, which I still use today on and off, but I've been using every day since I bought it because it is was the best mouth to lung vape experience that I had come across. Now this is it. So if you're someone who's still trying to get off cigarettes or for whatever reason, just still enjoys the mouth to lung all the time or even just some of the time, this is it. This is the pinnacle so far that I have found. The Aspire Triton V2. And that's it. They fixed my problems. I love it and all's good in the hood speaking of love if you love what i'm doing throw me a like hit that subscribe button hit it hard if you have any comments or concerns leave those in the comment section below and we'll rectify that situation and as always i'd like to remind you guys to mob that bitch to the wheels fall off